Which you guys got another video here for you. Change this setting if you upgrade to Windows 11. That's right, if you're using Windows 10 and you want to try Windows uh, 11, then make sure you change this setting because Microsoft don't make it easy for you. If you upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 and then you want to roll back, you only have 10 days to do so using the go back method here. This allows you to roll back to Windows 10 from Windows 11, but you only have 10 days to go back to Windows 10. And so many people miss this deadline and end up having to do a fresh install of Windows 10 to be able to go back to Windows 10 from Windows 11. Now, also another thing to point out is if you do roll back, you will lose some programs and settings if you roll back. Remember not to delete the windows.old folder this is important because this is your rollback uh, Windows version. If you start deleting this, then you're not going to be able to use the rollback feature and you will need to do a fresh install of Windows 10 if you want to go back to Windows 10 if you don't like Windows 11. So type CMD in the search box and run as administrator to open up the command prompt box. We're going to extend that 10 days to 60 days. This is going to give you 60 days of usage of uh, Windows 11 to see whether you like it or not and if you don't you can still roll back so type out DISM space forward slash online space forward slash get dash OS uninstall window just like so and then push enter what this will do is it will tell you the amount of days that you have to roll back in this case we have the default 10 days which is just simply not long enough and so many people will miss that deadline and will have to do a fresh install if they don't like Windows 11 and they want to go back to Windows 10. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this command to be able to extend it to a maximum of 60 days. So type DISM space forward slash online and then space forward slash set dash OS uninstall window all one word like that. You don't need to use capitals. I've just put them there to help you see it clearly. And then space, forward slash, value, then colon, and 60. And this will give you a maximum of 60 days to roll back. Having 60 days will give you plenty of time to use the operating system to get used to it to see whether you like it or not. Just make sure you do it within the 60 days to roll back if you don't like Windows 11. So that is the 60 day extension. You can now go back using your up arrow cursor keys to roll back to the previous command to check it. And you can see it's now been changed to 60, which means we now have 60 days. Now, if you're wondering whether you can extend this longer, then don't bother because what will happen is it will roll back to the default. Let me show you. If I try to extend this to 120 days and then push enter, and then go back and check to see whether that has changed it to 120 days by using the command here, which we used in the first place. You can see it's gone back to its default 10 days. So be careful. Don't try to extend it too long because it will go back to its default, which is 10 days. Just leave it at a maximum of 60, and that's as far as you can take it. So I'm going to go back and add this to 60, and now we're back to 60 days. So that's what happens if you're trying to extend it past 60 days. So that is basically how you can do that in the command prompt. If you prefer to use the registry, you can do. Let me just quickly show you where the location is in the registry. Type regedit in the search and then open up the registry editor right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to this location here. H key local machine. Open that up there. Go to system. Open that one up and then come down to where it says Setup. And right on there, on the right-hand side, you can see there is one right here called Uninstall Window. The reason why that key exists is because we've just added it by using the command prompt. If you don't see it there, then you'll need to extend this by adding a key in. So let me just show you here. If you do see it there, you can change it to 60. So right-click on the blank space, and click D Word 32 bit value, give that a key of uninstall window, and then on the decimal here, 
It's on hexadecimal right now. Go to decimal and change this to 60 and then click OK and that will give you 60 days. If you see a 10 day one there, that means you've got a default of 10 days and you can just change that to 60. Make sure you change it inside the decimal. And once you've done all of that and restarted your PC, this should give you the ability to roll back for up to 60 days. So inside your recovery section here, the go back button will be visible here and you'll be able to click on it for up to 60 days. And so many people will only leave this on 10 days. And what happens is it ends up being grayed out and you can't click on it. And there is no way of extending it once the time has run out. It's important also to make sure that you don't delete the windows the old, like I've already told you. And the way this gets deleted is when you run cleanup tools. So if you're using something like bleach bit, uh, C cleaner, or you're using the cleanup tool that is built into windows to clean out all the junk files, be very careful because there is a feature inside here that will remove the windows.old folder. And this will also stop you from rolling back to windows 10. So make sure you're not running any sort of programs like this. Let me just quickly show you right here so you can see it because this is another common problem that people do is they start running the disk cleanup tool and you can see previous windows installation. It's scanning for those and it will suddenly populate and you will see it pop up on the screen. And once it does this, if you run it, it's going to delete that actual file. You can see right here in the list, if we come down right here, let me just quickly show you previous windows installations, 8.81 gigabytes. If you delete this and check mark it, it's going to remove that windows.old folder and then you're not going to be able to roll back using the go back feature. So bear that in mind, it will delete this folder right here. And this is essential for you to be able to roll back to Windows 10. Anyway, I hope this makes it a little bit more easier to understand and make it nice and clear. If you are planning on upgrading to Windows 11 just to try it out, just make sure that you do those settings first. Otherwise, you will run out of time and you will probably end up like a lot of other people having to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Windows 10 has up until uh, October 2025 before it reaches end of life and you can extend it for another year for $30. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>